you weren't a hippie. I was not really a hippie. I mean, I wasn't, I mean, I didn't drop out and join a commune. And, you know, the big, biggest thing we did is we went to San Francisco, we sort of formed a film commune, you know, a film manifesto kind of uh, uh, thing. And I was involved more in the social movements of the time than I was in the drug movements of the Which time. Which was? Uh, Anti-war, you know, uh, free speech, uh, you know, integration. There were a lot of issues going on in those days that, that I was involved with, but not in the uh, sort of hippie, uh, you know, get stoned and listen to music and... Hey guys, and welcome back to Star Wars Nerdiness. If you hadn't guessed, this video will be different than most on the channel. I usually like to give in-universe explanations for events in Star Wars lore. In this video, I'm just going to see if there's any real, deeper political message behind the Star Wars franchise, specifically the original trilogy. Because frankly, no one's even trying to say there's a real message behind the prequel trilogy, and as for the sequels, nobody's denying it. People want to find some kind of deeper meaning in the Ewoks, and I really doubt that you're going to find that. Some fans believe that the inspiration for the Ewoks were the North Vietnamese communists known as the Viet Cong. You may know that this comes from a 2004 George Lucas monologue on Star Wars Return of the Jedi, but one thing that you probably don't know is that George Lucas never actually said this. In fact, the only group that George Lucas directly compared the Ewoks to were the Huns, as in Attila the Hun. And this feels even less likely, so I doubt that you're going to find anything with the Ewoks. In 2018, George Lucas compared his protagonist rebels to the Viet Cong, but the whole interview was a little bit rambly, and it didn't make very much sense. You could kind of tell that he was just making it up as he went along. Understandably, fancy a disconnect between Princess Leia before and after Return of the Jedi. Before, she was seen as a strong female character, but after, well, you know. Leia really was a positive role model for girls, and I really do think that's great. But, to be brutally honest, George Lucas never saw her that way. I'm not going to repeat exactly what George Lucas said because it does border on offensive, but unfortunately this message was unintentional. It's definitely still a great takeaway, though. I want to finish this video by saying that George Lucas really is a great person. Star Wars may not have much of a deeper political message, but that's okay. If anything, that makes them better. It's also about time that we shift our resentment away from George Lucas and toward, you know, Satan's pet mouse. I'm sort of serious. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and may the Force be with you.